Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. This is the Pascal generation card that many of you have been waiting for. This is a reference type card, what has become known as a Founders Edition, and at $700, this is the best performing GPU on the market presently for the money. Of course, you can uh, spring for the Titan X, but you'll be getting nearly the same performance here, if not some better performance overall when when it comes to gaming with the 1080 Ti at again less than half the price uh, of the Titan X Pascal. So with that said, uh, let's talk a little bit about the card. It has 11 gigs of DDR5 RAM, uh, a core clock of 1480 megahertz, a boost clock of 1582. You've got three display port outs on this GPU and one HDMI 2.0 port. Uh, 3584 CUDA cores, and of course this is a PCI Express 3 card. In terms of power consumption, you're looking at I think NVIDIA has a claim of 250 watts. You can see the uh, actual minimum system requirements there, 600 watts or greater, but the actual draw, it's 250 or less. It's supposedly more efficient than the Titan X. You're going to need a, a 6 and 8 pin uh, power connector, so keep that in mind. And of course, they recommend 16 gigs of RAM for your system, although 8 is the minimum spec. Windows 10, 8.1, or 7 is what you will need. And essentially, again, we're looking at the best card on the market. Let me reiterate that. Other than the Titan X, which based on pricing is actually, in a sense, obsolete compared uh, to the uh, TI. Now, for those of you that follow my channel, you already know that the Titan X I bought back in uh, you know, back at launch over the summer is gone with the wind. It was destroyed by Hurricane Matthew. So I've been waiting for something to replace it, and the TI seems to be the perfect fit. I mean, when you talk about performance, uh, really getting essentially uh, what I had. Of course, I'm going to have to open this on the other side as well, right? Love unboxings. Uh, but essentially, again, the same performance as uh, the $1,300 Titan X, uh, but here at 699 Another thing to point out as I rip this apart is that you're going to be able to get you know, non-reference or non-Founders Edition versions of this card, which I think many of you will be happy about. That was something you could not do with the Titan X. And only one gig less of RAM than the Titan X. So that is really what's impressive. This is the most narrow gap as I slowly and seductively remove this box top. And there it is. You've got the, you know, the 1080 Ti. Again, I know so many people that were waiting for this. I wasn't one of them because I had the X, but now I am one of them. And that is why I will be sharing it with all of you. So the 1080 Ti, a single card solution, uh, 4K right now at its best. You know, this is where you're going to see 60 frames per second, again, with ultra settings. Uh, so really no compromise. And then 4K or 5K VR down the road when that actually presents itself. Uh, I will take the card out of the package for you so that you are able to see. Uh, hopefully I will not destroy the card with a static charge. I don't think so. And, you know, while the Titan X is still the champ on a lot of things, deep learning especially, you know, the fact that we have options like this now is really uh, something great. In terms of the ports, again, I mentioned that you have that one HDMI 2.0 port and then three uh, display ports. Um, you know, for me, the um, HDMI out was actually an issue with VR, the fact that there's a single. I know most PC monitors, of course, can accommodate all of these, but I'm now working with a 55-inch OLED. Uh, that's my new monitor setup. Uh, so essentially, a little bit large, but I'm getting used to it. Uh, but for VR purposes, I need a way around this, which I'll be addressing in another video. Uh, above and beyond that, you know, this pretty much looks like every other 1080 that's, again, Founders Edition or reference card design. Uh, the fact that, as I mentioned earlier, that you're going to be able to pick this up uh, from all of the different uh, vendors, manufacturers that partner with NVIDIA, uh, with their own fan designs is where we're going to things get really excited, you know, see them get really exciting uh, because the performance just here with the Founders Edition card, again, 
best in the business. So uh, while AMD was getting hot for a second there, then NVIDIA goes ahead and drops this bomb that they've pretty much been sitting on since they released the Titan X just so they could put an nail directly into the coffin. And uh, I know there are a lot of fanboys out there, and some of you AMD guys are going to say, Ed, you're a fanboy too, and you know what? When it comes to NVIDIA, I am, because they simply outperform everybody. Uh, we've got a little packet of crap. I'm not really too interested in that. And uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm looking at what else we've got in here. Come to Papa. Oh, look at this. I speak, and they deliver. So we've got a... It's not what I need, but it's what some of you need. Display port to DVI. How wonderful is that? That's not going to help me with my 55-inch uh, OLED, but it might help you. So again, at $700, you're looking at the best GPU that money can buy. Of course, I'm going to put it through the paces. Uh, I will be comparing it to my you know, past experience with the Titan X, but I already know what to expect. The benchmarks are out there. This thing's a beast, and at $700, if you can find it right now, you're not going to go wrong. I will include a link in the description. Hit that like button. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.